Hi guys and welcome back to Bonaire Arts Education and Training. Today we're going to focus a little bit on performing arts and we're going to look into creativity. Please excuse me if I look down, I'm referring to my notepad here and so that I can express and tell you everything correctly because I'm going to be giving some definitions and stuff. If there are noise, if there is noise in the background, please excuse it as it is quite hot in London at the moment and I need to get some air to me. And please excuse if I sound really clogged up, I'm not feeling very well. But anyway, on with what we are doing today. So looking into creativity, for me personally, I think it's about thinking outside of the box, um, something out of the ordinary. So when you are being creative, you know, you are being who you are, expressing yourself completely, especially within performing arts. Um, there is so much things you can draw from to be creative. I think it's such a wide scope. It, it means that you can basically do anything and label performing arts on it as long as it's expressive and creative and it makes sense. I think a lot of people um, have done that before and it's kind of quite confusing but if you know what your focus is and you know how it can be effective to an audience and creative then go ahead. I want to go into a Google definition of what um, creativity means. So according to Google, creativity is the use of imagination or original ideas to create something inventiveness. And the quote that they say is, firms are keen to encourage creativity. So what I want to break that down to you is say, okay, so the first thing is the use of imagination. Imagination is a big thing in creativity, but especially in um, performing arts creativity. And the reason why I say that is because you have to be so selective. With imagination, we can do anything in our mind. We can fly, we can walk on water, we can do whatever we want in our mind but when it comes to making a performance you have to now connect that with something tangible something realistic and so you now need to go okay how can this appeal to my audience audience how can i make my mind live and also make it something that the audience can connect to and that's what how creativity links into performing arts um, it also says, or original ideas to create something. So there might be an idea or something already placed out there, but you can use that and add on to it to create something completely different and something connected, but not connected at the same time. And that's what's so amazing, especially in performing arts, because you're, you're open to a lot of things. You are open to express expression. You are open to um, movement, um, all types of media, all types of creativity, which we've touched on slightly before, and we will touch on a bit later on in performing arts tips as well. Um, I just, but I wanna to touch on it a little bit now, which is connecting media. Um, the best examples I can give you um, to look into is Beyonce's live performance of Who Run The World? And you see her dancing with projection in the background, um, it's just her dancing by herself, but she has projection moving, um, interacting with her body. That is a performing arts way of creating. Another one is a Justin Bieber's um, Love Yourself video, where the dancers, which kind of remind me of frantic assembly type movements, but that's another video, <laughs> um, but where the dancers are expressing themselves um, through a phone and they do the dance move through phone. That's um, interacting and using another media to express creativity and you completely understood with the song music and their dance going on. So um, yeah, with their song music and their dance move, what exactly is going on? So I just wanted to give you a, a bit of an idea of how creativity can easily fit in with performing arts and how to express yourself greatly amongst that. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks again, bye.